In Sarawak, compared to Malay in Malaysia, we have this uh, Sabah, Sarawak, and West Malaysia, Peninsula Malaysia. So, compared to Peninsula and Sa Sarawak and Sabah, is a bit, uh, uh, is a bit more to have a lot to catch up. So, most of our voters are actually uh, not really educated because we have a lot of uh, these uh, rural areas that. The government has not really looked into it. So, in my constituency, I was the first uh, candidate, women candidate. I was the first female candidate for my constituency, and it was there for uh, all the while it was uh, represented by male. And the reason is because it was uh, my, my constituency is a small, small town, and most of the late females, they normally will study overseas, then they wouldn't want to come back. That is why we have uh, less women joining politics as well. And in, in Sarawak, actually, there's not really a lot of females who are interested in politics because they have a mindset that not only in Sarawak, actually in home Malaysia, I think uh, a lot of women think that this uh, politics is the man game. So, this, but we are catching up. Slowly, we have uh, increased members of uh, this uh, party, joint political party. Then from there, we can uh, nominate them to be the, the candidates for, for election. And up to now, for my party, Democratic Action Party, it's actually an opposition party. We have only have these are four, four uh, women politicians under our party and it is not because that we don't have uh, we, we don't have quota but it's not easy to get to get uh, more women members we are trying to uh, recruit but even some they join but they are not so active in politics they We have campaign, uh, we reach out to, to, to women and normally we celebrate this Mother's Day, International Women's Day and we do a lot of uh, welfare program to help out the single mothers and, and those things. And we give seminar, we give talks about women in politics but it's not that easy because most of the women they are, uh, they are normally staying at home taking care of family and other than that most of the women they are working overseas or not in our, our hometown so it's not that easy to get a woman uh, to contest and of course if you can't get a woman to contest you cannot have women politicians mm -hmm. so I think the barrier is because of the one of the reason is also the financial uh, barriers because as not even uh, not only these are uh, opposition party even uh, i think even in any other parties we need a a, a strong financial support mm -hmm. when especially during campaign during election campaign so normally we ask for public donation but is that only that is not enough Actually, is uh, we have a limit. Of course, you cannot uh, okay. spend over than uh, maybe hundred thousand. But even the banners, the buntings, uh, the the advertisement on newspaper, and the setup for our our political talk, that all cost a lot of money. So that is why I think most uh, women uh, do not want to get involved because. The, we don't have these extra monies for that. For a woman that, that uh, which is young, especially young, they will think they will think that they need to get married to have family first before they get into politics. And when you when you are getting into this uh, marriage life, then you have children, you have to take care of children, then until when you're really free to get into politics, it will be uh, 
maybe over 30, over 40. That is why it is not easy to get young women politicians. But I consider myself uh, quite a lucky one because I was elected at the age of 32 and I just got married one year after I got elected. I think to me, I think when there's a will, there's a way. Lah. So when you want to be in politics, when you want to serve the, the, uh, the people, there's actually a way to go there and you need to sacrifice a lot, especially privacy <laughs> and time and um, money, of course. So it depends on once whether you want to sacrifice all this or you just want to keep uh, at your this uh, comfortable zone. So another thing I think uh, quite important is about family support. If there's no family support, I think no women can stand to get involved in politics mm. if there's, they have uh, no family support. Even if you are married, you need your husband's support, your family support, then you can stand longer and you can stand firmer in politics. If there's no support, then I think we don't have the, the uh, stamina, the, the will to go, go longer. That's why.